Hey guys, welcome to this video. This is Junaid Nasir and in this video I'm going to take a look at the software of Samsung Galaxy J7 2016 model. Now if you've seen the unboxing you guys already know that this device is running Marshmallow 6.0.1 so quite a decent software here and if you can see here right now that uh, this software is same as Samsung has um, given it on their uh, top end or high end smartphone like Samsung Galaxy S7 or Note 7 so you get these rounded icons you get these folders you can change the colors from here you have got this launcher here from where you can uh, get to the wallpapers widgets themes and then you can change the grid size you can have 4x4 4x5 and 5x5 icons whichever is your preference so there is that and you can see that the number of apps have been really reduced and I want to show you something that there is there are these galaxy essentials here so if you click on them it takes you to the galaxy essentials store we have the option to download these additional apps something you can download and use so there's this Deezer music video snap bizcard s note app sound cam so you can really download these apps as well and make use of it so then there is theme store here as well and you can get to all the themes that you want uh, whichever you like there are paid themes there are free themes there are categories here you can also select from the color palette here and then there are these categories cute simple pastel colorful and stuff like that so you have quite a lot of options here to change the look let's go ahead and try one of these themes i'm liking this one so let's go ahead and apply this one there we have it guys so you can see that the icons have really changed they have these transformed into these navy style icons or something and let's go ahead and see and here you go you, you can see the difference in the notification shade now let me just expand it and the icons have changed the theme has changed completely uh, let's go into the settings app and you can see that the theme is applied to the settings app as well everything has changed so that's really nice something different here let's go ahead in the, into the phone app and you can see that the phone app has also changed quite a bit let's go into the messaging app and I, I really like this theme the keyboard has also changed it has taken on the colors of the theme now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the settings and some of the features of this phone so here up top in the settings app you have got these favorite settings here you can edit them you can choose a total of nine settings here so you can put all your favorite settings on the top so you can have easy and early access to them so there you go total nine favorite settings you can keep them on top then there is wi-fi bluetooth flight mode mobile hotspot and tethering here and there are more connection here vpn printing nearby device sharing and stuff like that there's smart manager here it's the same as on samsung j7 on the last year model you can also control your notifications here so you can control here which type of apps can send you notifications and which cannot so you can simply toggle them on and off here as well there is do not disturb feature here as well you can enable it enable a schedule allow exceptions so if you go into the exceptions you can have no exceptions you can have alarms only and you can have custom exceptions as well so in exceptions you can have uh, some favorite callers whose calls will go through even in the do not disturb mode you can have messages favorite favorite contacts uh, messages will also go through task events reminders and priority app notification now this is important you can have all the app notification disabled and do not disturb more or you can allow certain apps to be able to send you notifications even in do not disturb mode in display you have got this brightness features here again no automatic brightness here so you will have to adjust it manually there is outdoor mode here you can change the font have it small medium have different types of looks here download fonts from the internet as well and you can change the size of the font here as well then you have screen timeout you have got screen more adaptive adaptive display amoled cinema that is really going to saturate things amoled photo again going to saturate things and basic mode you can also set a screen saver so a screen saver will be shown whenever screen times out that's also nice let's go to advanced features in advanced features you have got 100 operation if you triple tap the home button it will reduce the size of the screen so you can have this one handed operation really easily use it with a single hand so and you have with this one handed input for keyboards and in call buttons and stuff like that so if you turn this one on and go back 
to the phone you see this keyboard shifted to the right small so you can use it with the single hand then you have got quick launch camera again if you double tap on the home button no matter from where it will launch the camera so if you quickly double tap it there you go it launches the camera the speed is pretty quick then you have smart alert you have easy mute let's go into the smart alert so smart alert is basically if your device is down and it and you have some notifications so if you whenever you'll pick it up it will vibrate and tell you that you have got some notifications then there is easy mute easy mute if you're getting a call or there's an alarm you can simply put the device face down and it will mute the alarms or and then the privacy settings and you have got your location settings here app permissions here send sos message so in case of emergency you can simply tap a button and it will send this emergency message then you have got this google and personal and work profiles here so you can choose between them let's go into the work and see what that is like so if you go into the work you um, have your knocks here as well and you can put in your password and access your work profile by going into the work profile and it's it's locked by knocks so samsung Knox comes in here pretty handy we have battery settings here again pretty good battery settings here uh, you can really go through the battery usage I've not been using this phone so you can see this curve here really plateauing and not using any battery at all so if I can show you a little bit closely so you can see that it has really plateaued and not used any battery at all so that shows you a really good standby time on this phone as well as you can see here it has been running for over a day one day and 13 hours without charging and the screen on time has been one hour four minutes i've not been using it much but just to show you that the standby time is really good this is not really a battery test or something like that and you have got your ultra power saving mode here which turns off everything so you can turn it on by toggling it here so there you have the uh, ultra power saving mode here you can add a couple of apps here calculator clock email and memo you can make calls and messages use internet but all the other functions have been closed out you can really keep few apps here the estimated usage time is 4.3 days on 87 percent battery so that's good here and you can get out of it by just disabling the ultra power saving mode here so we have 16 gb of space here available space right now is 8.52 gb and use space is 2.02 gb so you get around 10 gbs or 10.5 gbs of available space on this device which i think is really really bad and really pathetic actually and i think the device of this size this big which is actually meant to be used for media consumption having a 10.5 gb of internal storage is creepy again you have the option to put in an sd card so they have given you that option you can use that if you want so quite a lot of options here a lot of customizations you, it's, it takes a long time to go through all these settings and set it as you like now let me just show you the camera app quickly because that's really important here um, let's go into the camera app it launches pretty quickly and takes photo pretty quickly no lag here no lag at all so you can use it that way swipe from the left it takes you to the gallery you have your built-in image editor here and if you swipe it from the left you have all these features then again auto pro in pro mode you get these basic features to set the ISO white balance so there you have it guys like this video subscribe comment if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments and I'll see you in the next video guys bye bye